Hey guys, welcome back. Got some more uh, Persona 5. Um, let's see here. Let's continue with, um, yeah, I was gonna hang out with Kawakami, that's right. Good old Kawakami. Good old Kawakami. You know, I've been hearing Shibuya's getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you're passed by that area on your commute to school, but don't make too many de detours, okay? 5,000 yen. So cheap. So cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it, though. Kawakami has... She has such a good social link. She has, like... First of all, I really like her as a character. But also, at the same time, she gives you some really good, really good stuff, so... That's, uh, it's very good. Very good, if you ask me. I love cleaning shabby. Uh, I mean, sophisticated rooms like this, it gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust, but then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? Um, it does, but I'll tell your boss. <laughs> Even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby, chic feel, you know? And now cleaning is complete. Shabby, chic feel, eh? Okay. I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today, I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. Okay, that's kind of shit. That's pretty shitty. Um, I, I can't say I wasn't. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. You try not to get too involved with your students, eh? Alright, but, but you still get involved, though, right? You, you say you're not too involved. Sure. But are you, are you really making that transfer once a week? A th 10,000 bucks? Or 100,000, yeah, 1,000 bucks, wow. So the thing is with Kawakami is she's kind of like Mishima, where because you have to pay 5,000 yen every time, you don't actually... Actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's actually the case, but I think... I think every time you request her, you should... I don't know if you have to level her up normally or not. I think you may have to, actually. I'm not sure, though. All right. <sighs> okay. Okay? Not sure why he said that, but okay. <laughs> the Phantom Thieves are super lame! The Phantom Thieves are super lame! You know, it took me a while to see that, uh... Took me a while to see that PS uh, PSP that guy's holding. That's kind of that's kind of cute. How can anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? That that child is a phony. There's simply no way that the Phantom Thieves exist. Unfortunately, my precious children all think they're real, and worse, that this detective is amazing. Children are far too impressionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm so pumped. 
I can't believe you were on TV yesterday with a catchy coon. It was like a dream come true. Can't believe a high schooler moonlights as a detective. He's just like the detective prince. He's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. Too cool. Yeah, maybe he has some. Uh, maybe he has some underlying problems. We had front row seats. I could pr practically reach out and touch him. He was really working that uniform, and without seeming like a snob, he's as natural at public speaking. I hear he is an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. He wants us the last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. Says who? Says who? I just remembered. Bitcoin. Can you imagine how much gold has been excavated by human? Oh, it's, isn't this like an Olympic pool or something? Yeah, I I think I said Olympic-sized pools, but I think it's I think it's um I think it's a Lake Biwas, right? I'll check though. I think I think it's a Lake Biwas though. Oh, it is three Olympic size pools. Really? Wow, really? <laughs> I didn't know it was I didn't know it was that little. It's kinda crazy when you think about it. No wonder it's so valuable. Huh, okay. Correct. Surprisingly little, don't you think? That rarity is what drives its value. That's actually kinda nuts when you think about it. Nice going. Yeah, that's actually kinda like insane, really. What did you say? What did you say? Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Or some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? <laughs> the hell? You three seem to be having Smile so much for the fun. camera. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? said before we don't know nothing why do you think I'm here to question you could it be that you're hiding something my ears are always open to the troubles of my peers you know you're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation <sighs> of course you are nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't what's that supposed to mean your student council president right wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! myself I couldn't do anything for her there's no need to shout if those phantom thieves are out there helping people I'd root for them no questions asked gotta be more dependable than some people I know 
Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Oh, Makoto. Uh, poor, poor Makoto. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a tough one. At an alarming rate. However, negative one seemed to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of Akechi. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. <laughs> impossible. You're the impossible one. What? I... <laughs> impossible. I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. I spent all my money, all 200 yen on them. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Because Mona's got a big mouth on him and doesn't know when to shut up. Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Matarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. It's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. Well, we got a floor, so I hope you like sleeping on the floor. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah, even though this was your idea, Mona. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right, Joker. You give it that. Give him that little slap. Give him that little slap. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. Whoa, this guy. Nice. I don't, I don't even get a name. Great. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, 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 it's me. It's all me. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rent will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. punishment <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either these are your friends yeah go on and take them up to your room no need to stay down here Ooh, I want to see it's only an attic 
Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have either. Hey, you gotta get up here. This place is freaking insane. Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm. Sweet girl. Don't get any ideas there, Sojiro. Alright, I know how you old men are. What you you OG-sons. I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Uh, about 250. I mean, he's an art student, right? So, can't actually. Can't think about him too much for economics. Anyway, Not really their strong we'll suits. Sit tight until we can find another target. So, how about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? What? <laughs> <laughs> what my ass? You don't have any cash. What? What? What my ass? Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. This is, a, this is a nice soundtrack. I like this soundtrack. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Bum, 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 bum. We're supposed to talk to the chief. I'm doing something, Mona. Mm. That Akechi guy seemed pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those words, so. But let's forget about him for now and just focus on having fun. We need to prepare. Yeah, yeah, Mona. We'll get to that. We'll get to that crap. I heard you all having hot pot for dinner. Yeah, won't join us? Did you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Yeah, sure, man. Her name was On, right? She's a nice girl. Oh yeah. 
Why do you say that? Oh, I just had a chat with her. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. I guess she thought it'd be nice. Too pitiful for you to ask since you're already freeloading. Anyway, I should have a big pocket somewhere around here. What are you talking about freeloading? I ain't freeloading. I'm fucking probably richer than you. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now... Yes? Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. She's asleep already? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her. The quiet ones stay away. I, uh, she is a very heavy sleeper if she can't hear you saying all this shit about her. <laughs> I mean, like a man. I see. I see, I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. 
Dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up! Whoa, where have we seen this guy before? Hmm. This man looks relatively familiar. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey. Make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. Do you understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. 
similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. So strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. Classic Mona. Classic. Nothing new there. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! You can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. Yeah, that's why I kept it myself, because I remember Yusuke is a snitch. He be snitching. Oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Hmm. Still. Ah, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Bum, 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 bum. If you sit there, then where will I recline? Alright, I just want to talk to you, man. Holy shit. Did something Aren't you gonna sleep yet? I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is a luxurious in comparison. Yeah? Okay. Well, fine. Whatever. Be that way. Uh, can we go anywhere? Hey. Let's go sleep for the day. Great. 
gonna protect my Sleeping Beauty no matter what it takes. But I'm still awake. I'm not talking about you. Wait, don't eavesdrop on me. That's why you always gotta listen, Mona. You always gotta be paying attention, cause people are people are people do be listening. Need to worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Oh, that's it? Okay. Yeah, that's a very, very expected. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, your picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Super stock. Increase your persona stock to 10 slots. Good. That's a very good thing to have because I'm uh, getting a little... All right. I don't want to give up Izanagi or Kaguya, preferably. Time. Yeah, I may have to give up Kaguya, but I would lo I would not like to give up Izanagi. I'd like to, e I li I'd, uh, like to use Izanagi for the next dungeon. That'd be really nice. Or Sai San's younger sister, correct? Fun fact: This is the only time this uh, background gets ever used in the game for this uh, specific scene. May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi Kun? You are quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. So the phantom thieves are evil and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? Poor Makoto. Oh, that's kind of sad. It's kind of sad, you know what I mean? She just gets bullied all the time by people. It's pretty depressing. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. 
I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, uh, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Finally awake. Yeah, I'm hungry. That's the first thing you have to say to me? You guys sure do eat a lot. That reminds me, I haven't seen Yusuke around. Maybe he's over here already went downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You up? You're finally up. You know, it's past noon. It is? Oh, shit. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left his painting before he took off, though. Supposedly, the thing that's for taking care of him. Sayuli. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Yeah. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened the shop hours ago. Okay, we're gonna go to the... Gonna go to the drink place today, because that's where the special drink is. Because it's Sunday. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but you're resting peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I've decided to return to the dorms. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuli to your protector, Sojiro. That painting should no longer exist in reality. I'm sim simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Yeah, 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 get out of here, that porridge. What the hell do you want porridge after hot pot? I feel like that's like... Like you mean like oatmeal? <laughs> hey, hey. Like oatmeal? Yeah, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars. Sounds pretty lame to me. I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. He might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. Ah, burglars, eh? The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately, too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Yeah, let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. Hmm, if they target restaurants, what if we drew them to LeBlanc? Hmm. That's not gonna happen. Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? LeBlanc targeted. Seems like a viable plan to me. Nope. Yep. I mean, to get kicked out of LeBlanc, we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuli there as well. <laughs> I don't really want more thieves to be posing as this in the future. Our lack of info means we'll just have to wait, so we can continue searching for, for more information. Okay, so we can uh, we can do Takumi today. We can do On. So first things first, we're gonna go get that drink. Because it's Sunday, I'm gonna check on the plant too. Okay, plant's fine. Can't believe you just went home without telling us, although that is a very... That tactlessness is very Yusuke. Yeah, very true. Very true indeed. Okay. Let's uh, go to the underground underground walkway, because that's where the special drink is. Special drinky. Um, vitality. Oh, more proficient, eh? Okay.
Woohoo, one proficiency. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's, um... We'll, go, we'll hang out with uh, Taka, Takemi today, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Takemi today. Bum, 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 bum. What's up, girl? Quiet, you. Eh, I'm, I'm the one being honest here. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? Alrighty, so we can um, we can do Yoshida today. Yeah, I think we will do Yoshida today because I like Yoshida. Uh, what day is it though? It's Sunday. Do you do anything on Sunday? I don't think so. Just a drink. Also, to check on my check on my thingy on my good old lottery ticket, which I will certainly win money on this time. Definitely, definitely gonna win money on it. Just you wait. You guys are gonna be laughing. You're gonna be like, oh, I should have, I should have done the lottery ticket with him. See, look at that, 66% profit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do you mean it's better than nothing? Yeah, fuck right. It's better than nothing. It's called a profit. Even though I'm so negative. Listen, we're we're just going for that. We're just going for the beloved 100,000 or the 500,000, whatever it is. Um, okay, everything else seems to be alright. Yeah, alright, we'll just do, um, Yoshida then. That's not true. Everyone! Good evening! I feel indebted. Everyone! Hmm. 
Yes. <laughs> Three charm, that's crazy. That's so much charm, actually. I shall ask you again another time. one the, 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 the coins it's obvious and duh it's um you know it's that guy the uh the guy the um the dude the 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 person the um <laughs> the uh the the governments the governments exactly yeah exactly see i knew that Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. Where does that sound familiar? An independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing paper money since. Sheesh! I had no idea. Sheesh! Nice going. Coins which don't have as much of an effect on the economy are still produced by the government. You simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. The best they can manage is pocket change. Ooh, anti-governments. Or anti-current government, I guess. <laughs> oh. oh, good, you haven't gone home yet. What's that mean? Is that a catchy? Oh, it is. Nijima-san's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Who? I don't want to. Just no. go. If you don't, they'll come and complain to me about it. The student council room's on the third floor. Got it? Ugh. Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Hey. Nijima's a girl who keeps following you around, right? What could she want? Let's look at this a catchy thing. Everyone here is definitely on the catchy bandwagon, Alice. They even give him all those nice sparkles. Hmm. Yeah, they do. Is that how you say it? Oh yeah, Ake, Ake ni te. What's it? Ki, ki, kila kila. Oh, kila kila, I see. And yeah, they certainly like this guy, don't they? Yeah, of course they do. Yeah, of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Alright, let's go to the student council room, because we have to. Um, which, which room is that on again? Oh yeah, the third floor. Third floor. Alright, alright. 
Was it the third floor or the second floor? I think it's the second floor, actually. Is this guy still getting stalked? No. Are you Butsuyo? Ah, so you're the one everyone's been talking about. A president wants a word with you. Is this it? Oh, okay. Alrighty, guys. We'll call us one quits here. Made some uh, decent progress, and I imagine we'll be going into the next palace pretty soon, actually, so... That's exciting, even though it's not one of my favorites at all, but that's okay. But, uh, yeah. Look forward to seeing you then. Toodles.